education, intonation, pronunciation, speak right to the nation. You want to know how? Please ask me now. Contrasting consonants l and r. Yes. The l and r are consonant sounds that are produced at the alveolar. However, sometimes pupils substitute l for r. Here are some drills that can help you. Repeat after me. Lag, rag. Lag, rag. Lake, rake. Lake, rake. Leap. Reap. Lip. Rip. Lip. Rip. Lamb. Ram. Lamb. Ram. Lent. Rent. Lent. Rent. Lung. Rung. Lung. Rung. Lead. Read. Lead. Read. Leader. Reader. Leader. Reader. Liver. River. Liver. River. Lamb. Ram. Lamp, lock, rock, lock, rock, leaf, reef, leaf, reef, lace, race, lace, rice, lice, rice, lice, rice. Do you have a creative writing on the laser lizard of River Rambo? Yes, I do. Oh, great. Let me hear it. The lizard living at River Rambo is a little lazy. He only loves lying by the lake lane for relaxation after rain rolls. Though he has a real sense of tail telling, he likes to loiter and look to admit his laziness to special Well done, you did very well. With the aid of these illustrative sentences, you will be able to say and contrast sound L and R. Repeat after me. Are you ready for the Russian roulette? Are you ready for the Russian roulette? I believe it will be filled by the rhyme. I believe I will feel that rhyme. Lancelot is leaving Lagos for London. Lancelot is leaving Lagos for London. I am living the life of a legend. I am living the life of a legend. Richard is ready to rekindle his rivalry with Rimmers. Richard is ready to rekindle his rivalry with Rimmers. I am sure with the aid of this short lesson you will be able to fulfill your assignments. Till I see you next time. Bye bye. Bye Diction Oracle. Diction Oracle. We want you to help us to contrast, contrast the sound and Oh, you want me to teach you contrasting consonants and z? Yes, this is an article. The z sound is an alveolar voiceless fricative consonant sound. The z sound is an alveolar voiced fricative.
indicating constant sound. These sounds can be realized in these contrasting words. Listen and repeat after me. Disease, disease, trace, 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 false, 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 Lies, 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 zips, 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 I'm sure you have an illustrative conversation for consonant and z. Yes, it's an Okay, what's the title? Susan and Zainab. When you like shopping, Saturdays or Sundays. I prefer shopping and Sundays to Saturdays for each other to eat. What then do you buy in the stores? Shoes, bags, blouses, or books? I don't like books, but blouses and shoes are bright size and colors. That's nice. I just want to take a pair of scissors, a toy zebra, and a face bath down the street. That's nice. Okay, Susan. See you soon. Ciao. Ciao. Give yourself a super clap. With these illustrative sentences, you will be able to say the contrast between s and z. Listen and repeat after me. You can see a zebra in the zoo. You can see a zebra in the zoo. Can you spot the difference between deserts and desserts? Can you spot the difference between deserts and desserts? Send some sweets through Susan and Sandra. Send some sweets through Susan and Sandra. Her deceased mother died of the deadly disease. Her deceased mother died of the deadly disease. No prize without a price. No prize without a price. Okay, you sounded very nice. Give yourself a super clap. With the aid of this short class, be sure you'll be able to complete your homework and assignments. Yes, Dixie Parker. Till I see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, you want me to teach you contrasting consonants ch and sh? Yes. Okay. Do you have an illustrative conversation in this? Yes. Well, the ch sound is produced when the tip of the tongue is placed against the point where the teeth reach meets the hard palate. The air coming out from the closure is released slowly in diffused manner with friction. And that is the ch sound. Listen and repeat after me. Ch sh. The sh, however, is produced when the blade of the tongue points in the direction of the hot palate and the alveolar ridge. Let's contrast the ch and sh. Now, on my table, I have the sh first and the ch next. Repeat after me. Shoes. Choose. Shoes. Choose. Shore. Chore. Shore. Chore. Sheep. Cheap. Sheep. Cheap. Leash. Leech. Leash. Leech. Dish. Ditch. Dish. Ditch. Wash. What. Wash. Watch. Cash. Cut. Cash. Cut. Shide. Child. 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 Bash. Bat. Bash. Bat. Shop. Chop. Shop. Chop. Do you have an illustrative dialogue titled Chantel and the Chef? Yes. Okay, let me hear it. Hi, Chef. 
Hi, Shinzo. I changed your list. Yes, but it was mine. Chef, did I hear you all? No wonder the champagne seller asked to leave the shop. There's nothing but a cheat. I'm sorry, I actually washed the dishes for you so you won't feel bad. I lost my mom sack you. You're no longer a chef. Sorry, Chantel. Chef is so sorry. Oh god, what have I done? Well done, you did very well. Give yourself a super clap. With the aid of these illustrative sentences, you will be able to contrast sh and ch. Listen and repeat after me. The chef served the champion a glass of water. The chef served the champion a glass of water. The price of the ship is quite cheap. The price of the ship is quite cheap. My shoes are in the ditch. My shoes are in the ditch. I bought the chips from the shop. I bought the chips from the shop. You can't wash your dish in a ditch. You can't wash your dish in a ditch. Okay, you did very well. Give yourself a super clap. I'm sure with the aid of this short lesson, you will be able to complete your assignment. Yes. So I see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, Dictionary -bye. Bye, Dictionary Oh, you want me to teach you consonant p and t? Yes. That's okay. The p sound is a bilabial plosive sound, voiceless in nature. While the t sound is an alveolar plosive voiceless sound. The two sounds can be illustrated thus. The p at the word initial, pin. Pin. Pit. 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 Pill. 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 Pair. Pair. Pump. Pump. Pass. Pass. Preach. Preach. Now let's take the pop sound at the word medial. Happy. Happy. Stopped. Stopped. Happen. Happen. Appreciate. Appreciate. Sleeping. Sleeping. The pop at the word final. Pump. Pump. Step. Step. Tap. Cap. Cap. Slap. Slap. Gap. Cap. Camp. Camp. Hiccup. Hiccup. Now let's take the t at the word initial. Ten. Ten. Town. Town. Toad. Toad. Town. Town. Now let's take the t at the word medial. Stutter. Stutter. Butter. Butter. Rattle. Rattle. Cattle. Cattle. Kettle. Kettle. Battle. Butter. Now let's take the t at the word final. Fat. Fat. Fart. Fart. Sit. Sit. Pet. Pet. Rent. Rent. Tent. Tent. Pent. Pent. Point. Point. Right. Right. Pot. Pot. Note that some th words can also have sound. Examples are Thomas. Thomas. Thames. Time. Time. Note that the ED spelling formation coming after some voiceless consonants becomes sound. T. Examples are stopped, stopped, slapped, slapped, worked, worked, walked, walked, passed, passed, jumped, jumped, washed, washed, packed, packed, laughed, laughed. There are certain words of French origin that are written with t or t, but the t is not pronounced. Examples are depot, depot, chalet, chalet, bouquet, bouquet, ballet, ballet. Sometimes sound t is silent at the word medial. Castle. Castle. Wrestle. Wrestle. Apostle. Apostle. Whistle. Whistle. Christmas. Christmas. Fasten. Fasten. Listen. Listen. Hasten. Hasten. You did very well. Give yourself a super clap. Do you have an illustrative conversation on Kent and Benton? Yes. Benton, shall we go play tennis at the sport hall? 
No, I'm not interested. I want to bring my pets. I see. But you told me to call you on Saturday whenever I'm going there. Oh, I'm sorry. My aunt just arrived from the airport and she bought me a set of computer, a packet of sweets, and a pet which I would really like to play with right now. That's so nice of your aunt. My uncle also bought me a kit bag and a couple of building equipment as well as a couple of break bricks. That's it. Wow, you guys are sounding very nice. Well done. Give yourself a super clap. I'm sure with the aid of this lesson, you will be able to complete your assignments. Yes. Okay. You have a great day. Bye. Bye, Jean Telephone etiquette and reading. What kind of diction should you use on the phone? What should you say when you pick a call? How should you start your call? Who should end the call? What kind of concluding remarks should you use when you want to end the call? How should you talk to a host caller? You will find answers to these questions at the end of this class. Now when someone calls you, answering home telephone. Hello is the most proper way to answer the telephone. However, when the telephone in the home is answered by someone other than the owner of the call and the caller says, may I speak with Mr. Matthew please? You should say, just a moment please. If Mr. Matthew is not around, the correct reply is, Mr. Matthew is not around. May I have your name and location so that he can call you back as soon as he comes? Listening. The ability to listen is a problem in Nigeria, but it is very important to listen to what the caller has to say. It's always a good habit to repeat the information back to the caller when you are taking a message. For example, you could verify a caller's message by saying, you said you would not be able to see my dad tomorrow. Did I get you right? If you must put the telephone down during the conversation, do it gently. And when you hang up, do it gently. Do not slam the receiver down. The person at the other, at the other end may still have the phone close to his ear and then a sudden sharp bang can be hurtful as well as rude. Ketsi. It's unethical to end your caller's call. Simply allow your caller to end the call. You do not speak to someone on the phone with food in your mouth. Simply finish the food in your mouth before answering the phone call. Answering your mobile phone. Hello is the most proper way to answer the telephone. So when you pick your call, simply say hello, good morning or afternoon or evening. May I know your name? Be as polite as possible. If you can't hear the caller, simply say, I am unable to hear you. Could you rephrase that again? I am unable to hear you. I am unable to hear you. You may end the call and dial again. You also need to avoid poor diction or slang. Simply say, yes. Okay, that's nice. It's okay. That's understandable. And that's great. Avoid expressions like, you said what? I can't hear you. Call back. You say what? How far now? What's up, nigga? Guy? Yeah. Yeah. No, those are bad dictions. Do not eat or drink when you are conversing with someone on the phone. Don't make phone call while in the class. Don't make phone call at the filling station, gas station, or fuel station. Concluding remarks, you can say, thanks for calling, have a nice day, or you say, thanks for calling, have a wonderful day. When you call someone, one, you should note, phone calls generally should not be made before 7 o'clock in the morning or after 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night. Try to avoid meal times. This means that whenever you want to make your call, you check your time. However, 
emergency calls can be made anytime especially when life is involved the instructor can cite a real life example for example if a house is on fire you have to call at that time even if it's late in the night two a person should always be certain of the number he is dialing to avoid disturbing someone unnecessarily if you do reach a wrong number it is important to say I am sorry I dialed the wrong number before hanging up address the callers by their title example good morning mrs good morning miss sanders good morning miss sanders after someone answers the call the caller should give his or her name before asking for the person that the caller desire to speak with especially if you are calling an office or home telephone the telephone carries your voice at its natural volume and pitch try not to shout but speak clearly and distinctly example Matthew could say hello good afternoon Matthew speaking the receiver could say hello good afternoon Matthew how may I help you and Matthew could say may I speak with you and then go ahead Four. Don't make phone call while driving. Don't make phone call while crossing the road. Don't make phone call while in the class. Note that the O in the digits 080555217300 is pronounced O. So it is 0805521730. Seven three zero and not zero eight zero five 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 two one seven three zero. No, it is actually O. Well, an exercise that you can practice with. See if you can practice with telephone conversation by Professor Wallace Shoinka. You can also practice intonation using a rap written by Justin Michaud. I've chosen this rap for you to practice because I know some of you are within the age of eight, uh, nine, seven years old. So I'll just choose one of the ages and I'll use it to rap. F rap is to teach you how to use the F. You will enjoy it. See how I'm going to do my pitch level. I'm going to do my intonation as a rap. Enjoy it. I'm only eight years old and I'm feeling kind of blue. I wonder if there's really anything I can do. My friends throw paper and cancel every town. And when I see them do this, it really makes me frown. There are lots of things that I can do to make this world a better place. I'm here to tell you and the whole human race. We need to save a glass and a pop cans too. Everybody pitching and now we help you. Save your paper, save your pen, because they both can be used again. Turn off your TV when no one is there. That's another way to show you care. Help us of the F. We only have one. If we all work together, it can be fun. It can be fun. It can be fun. That's the right way to rap. Not like what you see among our rappers, especially in Nigeria. Till I see you next time, it's a bye bye from the Diction Oracle. Diction Oracle. How are you today? Very well, well thank you. And you. Very well, thank you. So, what do you want me to teach you today? We want you to help us out in the or at our sounds. Contrasting vowel o and a. Yes. You can hear this sound in these words. Listen and repeat after me. Ho, hot. Hot, hot. Ko, ka. Ko, ka. Song. Sang. Song. Sang. Gone. Gang. Gone. Gang. Long. Lang. Long. Lang. Rot. Rat. Rot. Rat. Sock. Sack. Sock. Sack. Not. Nut. Not. Nut. Short. Shat. Short. Shat. Dock. Duck. Dock. Duck. Lost. Last. Lost. Last. 
cough, calf, cough, calf, stock, stack, stock, stack. Okay, you did very well. Give yourself a super clap. Do you have an illustrative dialogue on John, the cop, and Lucky the hunter? Yes. Oh, great. Let me hear it. When I grew up, I'd like to become a cop, but I prefer a hunter. Oh, why go hunting? That's because I like taking shots at ducks, eating roasted ducks, as well as singing hunter songs. I see. So, why do you want to become a cop? As a cop, I'll be able to learn rubs with my gun. So, I need rubber gun nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well done. That was beautiful. I enjoyed it. With the aid of these sentences, you will be able to say or contrast sound O and A. Listen and repeat after me. John gave the cop a cup of tea. John gave the cop a cup of tea. I told you to shut the door, not fire your shot. I told you to shut the door, not fire your shot. He lost his legs because of his lust for movies. He lost his legs because of his lust for movies. Before I could pick up my gun, the thief was gone. Before I could pick up my gun, the thief was gone. James had sung the song before my arrival. James had sung the song before my arrival. I'm sure with this short lesson you will be able to complete your assignments. Yes. Till I see you next time. Bye bye. Bye, bye to Oracle. You want you to help us out in the and the. Oh, you want me to teach you the and the. Yes. The the and the are produced with the tip of the tongue and the teeth. Now let's consider the. Th first. Repeat after me. Bath. Bath. Cloth. Cloth. Breath. Breath. Thought. Thought. Threat. Threat. Think. Think. Thumb. Thumb. Throne. Throne. Tooth. Tooth. Three. Three. Truth. Truth. Now let's go to the bathe. Bathe. Clothe. Clothe. Breathe. Breathe. Other. Other. This. This. Weather. Weather. They. They. There. There. Those. Those. There. There. Bother. Bother. Do you have an illustrative conversation on Kathleen and Thomas? Yes. Okay, let me hear it. I'm worried about my father and mother. Why? They've been away for three hours and it looks like it'll rain. I see. You're concerned about their clothes getting drenched. Yes, I'm most especially concerned because both of them went to get a therapy for my tooth. Sorry about that. My need for a tooth. And don't worry, their mom and dad will be back. Thanks for your concern. That's it. Well done. You did very well. Give yourself a super clap. With these illustrative sentences, you will be able to say th and the over and over again. Listen and repeat after me. Kathleen's thumb is short. Kathleen's thumb is short. The three thieves are in the bathroom having their bath. The three thieves are in the bathroom having their bath. They threatened my three girls. They threatened my three girls. Clothe yourself with love. Clothe yourself with love. They've been away for three hours. We've been away for three hours. Okay, you did very well. Give yourself a super clap. I'm sure with this short lesson, you will be able to complete your assignment. Yes, Diction Oracle. Bye-bye. Bye, Diction Oracle. Diction Oracle. Pronunciation. Speak right to the nation. You want to know how? Please, Athena.